my YouTube channel. How's everybody doing? Badly, badly, I hope. It's the last day of 2019. And what a year. Bruh. 2019, yo, it played no games with me. This is officially my last video for the year. I just want to say a huge, 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 humongous thank you to every single person who has ridden with me this year. Um, for every new subscriber, everybody that shared any of my videos via their Insta story, shout out to every single one of you. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick video to just kind of update you guys on my year and also the things I would say I've learned in 2019. So at the beginning of the year, I started a new job. Now, this is a job I wanted for my entire life. I always wanted to be either on radio or on TV. And on the 2nd of January, I started work at Beat FM. I've survived so much since then. I've been in a car accident, broken my ankle, looked for rent money, ended relationships, ended certain friendships, and just all around just grown. I um, mean, my post on Instagram, I spoke about how 2019 was the year of knocking on doors. 2019 was the year of pursuing my dreams and going for the things I said I wanted. As for 2020, we move. We are glowing. We are growing. We are living our best lives absolutely in 2020. But um, a couple of lessons I would say that I learned um, this year was I learned who I was. Um, in relationships, in friendships, work-wise, 2019 was filled with lessons. Um... For me, like personal discovery, I discovered that yes, I'm a bit impatient. Yes, I am brutally honest and not everybody knows how to deal with that. I also learned that um, it's okay to say, you know what, I'm done with this situation. I'm done with this friendship. I also learned that, look, if the energy isn't coming back to me the way I'm giving it back out, I'm, you know, woman enough to say, look, this situation, this person, this friendship, this relationship is not for me and I can walk away. Okay, I got my self-worth back. That's the second thing that I loved about 2019. And big ups to Chairman. Um, he showed me, you know, just how good it can be. I mean, are there ups and downs? Of course. I mean, what relationship is perfect? But it's like, look, if a man, if a woman, be a female, you know, if you're a guy watching this, if somebody genuinely, honestly wants you, they will put in that work. They're, even if they're traveling, even if they're, even if they're out of town, even if they don't live where you live, there will be constant communication. They will be asking about how your day is or how your day went. And I wouldn't even lie, for the longest time, everybody's always been like, oh yeah, you have all the men in your DMs. You're a babe, blah, blah, blah. Look, not every woman who seems to be perfect on the outside doesn't have insecurities. I have my own issues. I have my own insecurities. I have things that I was dealing with. And until I fully face them this year, I let so many men, people in general, get away with so much crap. You guys, I was being treated like a second class citizen when I hold all the passports. That is no longer happening in 2020. So if you are on that train, well, choo choo out of my life. You is gone, baby. Gone. My self worth is back. I know that. Look, I may not be the girl with the biggest booty or the biggest boobs or the finest face, but I am worth so. So much more that I give myself credit for. And in 2020, we are taking back the reins. We are getting exactly what we deserve. We are not, I repeat, we are not settling for anything less than what we deserve. So second lesson this year was self-worth. I realized, look, girl, girl, you got it. And you have every right to flaunt it. Yes, guys, I learned that. Also, in 2019, I was able, well, I'm still in the process of dropping this pick me syndrome. Um, pick me syndrome, if you watch my best friend's wedding, there's a part where Julia Roberts was talking to Demot, um, McKennedy, I don't remember his name, but she was like, oh, choose me, pick me, choose me. Look, honey, I'm done with that. If you can, if you see all of this goodness, if you see all of this finesse, if you see all of this beauty, oh, someone and you decide not to pick it up, dear, your loss. That pick me syndrome era is O-V-E-R. I'm good enough. I'm worth it. Either in friendships at sea. My philosophy is if it's for you, even if you don't get it now, it is most probably waiting for you somewhere in the future. So don't rush it, babe, girl. Enjoy yourself. Live your best life. Make decisions 
for you don't make decisions based off of oh i think this will be the outcome and if this is the outcome i can deal with it no make your decision based on look whatever the outcome is this is the decision i have decided on my own by myself to make and i'm going to stick by it don't let anybody make you feel like oh if they didn't choose you you're worthless honey you are worth a thousand more of that person who did not pick you and it's about time you realize okay oh great. You are the shiz net for the one millionth time. And don't let anybody, mother, father, brother, sister, friend, boyfriend, auntie, uncle, tell you you are worth less than you are. Because you, my darling, are solid gold. Solid gold, okay? You're gold. Um, I think another thing I learned in 2019 was just work. Like, I realized, see, you people, adulting, adulting, scam. Scam, scam. Only me, YouTube. Only me, radio. Only me content creator only me selling peanuts only me about to start a clothing like now only me waka come but i learned in 2019 that look the hustle is the hustle as long as it's legal and it's morally right get your money um there's so much you can achieve in 24 hours of the day um when this year started i was a bit confused on what i wanted to do i just started a new job i didn't know what the reception was going to be like big ups to mr lisa big ups to baby big ups to oc they made they've made this one year as comfortable for me as possible i've learned so much about being on radio about being a presenter i've learned you know how to cut uh curtail my my excesses i've learned how to bruh i learned how to not curse so much because oof, your girl could turn the air blue like a sailor um i've learned how to be diplomatic before i would just say bye and yeah you want to take it take it but you can't do that on radio so i would say that even radio has helped me personally kind of um develop into a better person if that makes you know any sense so with 2019 i've learned you know to, to hustle you know multiple sources of income um i've learned that there's no one way to enter the market as you would say on a call watcher one arrow did not lead into the market so girl 2020 the hustle is gonna pay we're gonna hustle even harder we're gonna get shit done okay okay and finally um i ended a couple of relationships in 2019 now relationships being both friendships and you know romantic or emotional relationships just because like i said in the beginning of the video i was giving more than i was getting um if you're not putting in the same effort, if you're not giving me back the energy I'm giving you, darling, there's so much money to be made in the world. I can't be spending extra data texting you or buying extra credit to call you. I only check up on those who check up on me. Yes, I said it. If you're part of the group that I've invited you out five, six, seven, eight times and you cancelled on me last minute, darling, you are cancelled in 2020. No beef for if you see each other in public. Oh, what's up? What do you do? What, what do you do? How are you doing? Are you good? Deuces. Nobody will stress me in 2020. We are only showing love to those who show us, show us love right back in 2020. If you're my best friend, if you're my mother, if you're my cousin, if you're my sister, look, if your energy is not matching mine, I'm very sorry, but it just it just won't work. It's not a case of pride. It's not a case of feeling funky with myself. It is a pure case of look. I know what I want from all the relationships I'm going into now. Is it networking? Is it you know needing somebody to talk to at night is it needing a man is it needing you know a best friend is it needing a girl pal if you are not ticking any of those boxes for me why am i wasting my time with you like there's so much in the world that can be done to just you know come on see that one person and one person be stressing you there are two very significant um friendships or relationships in my life in 2019 that i was able to redefine I don't know if the other parties know I've redefined that's for your pocket, but personally, I'm not putting in as much energy as I was putting in before. Let everybody put each other on the same scale of preference. I can't have you way up high here in my priority list and you're putting me down here. Uh uh, honey, that has ended in 2019. You do me, I do you, God, no go verse, I man no go verse, whichever way they say it. We are only prioritizing those who prioritize us in 2020. Okay? that is all guys those are the five lessons i believe i have learned personally from um 2019 i don't know if anybody has learned the same thing if you have leave me a comment down below don't forget to subscribe share and for 2020 i'm ready i'm open to everything i'm open to trying new things i'm open to experiencing new things and 
like I said, guys, 2020, we are keeping the same energy. We are going for all the things they say we're going to have in 2019. I didn't care who you think you are. Maybe there's one thing they're saying there's going to be a lot of who does she think she is. Well, I'm me, boo. I'm coming for that money, okay? So, 2020, do you be as happy as you can if anybody is not matching your energy in any way, shape, form, or manner? Pack and go carry your load and go to your house. Um, if anything doesn't feel right instinctively, don't do it. That, my, me personally, if my stomach starts to rumble at certain issues, it is what it is. That means that situation is not for me. But here's to glowing and growing in 2020. I will see you guys on the other side.